and terrifying moments as bees take over a valley street. Tonight, people in that Southwest Valley neighborhood are living in fear after a swarm of bees attacks a man, leaving him fighting for his life. I was completely terrified and I barely came outside until just recently. This picture shows how serious the situation was. The man is uh, blurred out there. He's motionless on the ground after being stung dozens of times while trying to remove the hive. 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan was there as a licensed pest control company came out to destroy the hive that's been terrorizing families near Fort Apache and Russell. Brian. Well, Steve, we're finally able to be somewhat close to the house without being harassed by these aggressive bees. It's pretty calm out here right now, but if you take a look at the ground, you can see some of the bees down here that firefighters say were covering the man when they found him and rushed him to the hospital. It's definitely scary. Neighbors warned to stay in their home after an exterminator was stung hundreds of times while trying to remove a beehive. He was cover, trying to cover his face, but they were just, they were all over him. Firefighters say the man was part of a three person crew, but was the only one not wearing a bee suit. It's pretty incredible. At least 200 bites or 200 stings all over. After crews left, the swarm continued terrorizing the neighborhood forcing many to run for cover. I was completely terrified and I barely came outside until just recently. A second pest control company was called in to exterminate the hive and quickly headed down the street to suit up after getting a look at how agitated the bees were. The bees are very aggressive and they're going to attack anybody that walks by. Jeremy Farnham works with a company that's part of the Pest Management Association and estimates even after this morning's attack, there were still likely 700 bees in the hive. I believe that nest uh, has been there probably about a year and it was left untreated. He spent three hours at the home spraying and watching the activity. Neighbors hope they've seen the last of the hive. Normally bees aren't that scary, one by itself, but when you think about hordes of them coming at you literally, it's, it's terrifying. Still no word on how that person is doing after being taken to the hospital. All firefighters said was that there were life-threatening injuries. As for the hive, that pest control company is planning to come back out and keep an eye on the situation tomorrow. Reporting live, Brian Callahan, 13 Action News. All right, thanks, Brian. The bees in that swarm are likely Africanized. The Nevada Pest Management Association says 80% of the bee swarms in this area are Africanized, but the only way to be certain is to test them after removing the hive. Because of the high percentage, though, the association says all licensed pet control companies should consider any swarm in residential areas as Africanized to avoid a dangerous situation. You should not try and treat it yourself. Uh, you should not spray it with water or throw rocks at it. Uh, you should definitely contact a professional. And if you have a swarm at your home, find a company licensed by the Department of Agriculture by going to NevadaPMA.org.